Hi guys, we are in full swing of teething. If you can hear anything in the background, it's Eva. She's again, she's supposed to be asleep while I do this video, but yes. she is wide awake. And you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So she already has um, four teeth on the top and four teeth on the bottom, but she's starting to get these like side, like top ones here. Now my first daughter Scarlett just didn't really seem to suffer that much with her teeth. When she was getting some through, she was a bit niggly and like normal things like prodding, um, touching her teeth, like touching her gums, um, chewing on things, chewing on her hands. But yeah, I mean, like, pain-wise, she just didn't seem to be bothered. She just got on with it. But poor little Eva has really, really been struggling. Um, I mean, you can hear her now laughing. But, she, yeah, she's been really struggling. She hasn't slept well, I would say, probably the last week. And she's been quite dribbly. Scarlett, my first daughter, was never a dribbly baby. Yeah, just in a lot of pain. So these are a few things that has helped or helped Eva. Nothing has really kind of gotten rid of it completely. Oh, she's gonna play with like really noisy things. <laughs> I swear she did that on purpose. <laughs> she's, she's playing with like a Christmas tin that she never plays with. But she's just decided to like get it out today. <laughs> So yeah, so these are the things that have kind of helped her. I think each child is different. So some of, some things help my first daughter that didn't help my second daughter. And also, you know, with other children, they're all completely different. So we have kind of got a few things and just, we would try anything just to see if it helped. So the first thing I would say, and this helped with both of my daughters, and I actually need to get some more because there's hardly any of it left. Um, some Ambisoil liquid. As you can see, there's like hardly any of it left. Um, but with this, you basically just put a little bit on a clean finger and wipe it around their gums, and it just numbs their gums basically. Like I try, tried it before, um, and it's a bit like, like it's really hard to explain but like if you ever had anything like dental work or anything done to your teeth and they kind of put an anaesthetic injection in it's kind of a bit like that but obviously it doesn't last that long um so instantly this obviously relieves oh. ah! the camera's moved now i've gone out of focus because she's getting stuff out okay yeah so this i swear by it's amazing it just gets that initial um pain away a lot of the time like um, a lot of the times I think it's just a distraction. All these things are good, but they're more of a distraction than anything else. Oh, you found the biscuits. <laughs> if that's like your third one today. So yeah, that this is really, really good. Now my second one is, you've already got out the packet, is these, um, they are Nelson's, Nelson's Teether teething granules and they come in like little sachets like this so what you do is like you rip the top off and you're supposed to like put it on their tongue so or if they won't take it then put a bit on your um on like a wet finger so it sticks onto it and just like rub it on their gums um i have to do that with eva quite a lot because she won't she won't take it but then instantly they're like oh actually this is quite nice and again it kind of just numbs that um area we have tried or we did try the bongella gel with scarlet when she was teething but we just found and um, we spoke to like friends who have babies as well we just found with the bongella gel it just kind of they did that and it like they moved their mouth on move their tongue around like they, their gums and it just comes straight off. So I don't really know the difference of obviously this and the um, ambas Ambasol liquid. Um, oh, she's like using the tripod as something to hold on to. <laughs> you are a monkey. You are. Do you want to come up here? Oh, now she's dancing on the tripod. <laughs> Can you 
let go of my tripod now. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> You're going in for some more biscuits. Show us your teeth. That's it. Ah. Ah. <laughs> ah. Yeah. Ah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> right. I need to finish this video. <laughs> right. Oh, I'm all wonky. I'm so sorry if it keeps changing, but yeah, I'm trying to like hold on to the tripod. So what was I saying? Jella gel, I think maybe? Yeah, the Bon Jella gel. So yeah, we didn't we didn't like that. So my next one is any like teething toys. So we had with Scarlett and obviously now we've got with Eva. And she's not really taken to this this much, but it's the gummy glove. And this was like I said, this is Scarlett's. Say hi. Huh? <laughs> so yeah, they've got so we've got the gummy glove makes a little like noise here there, there's like different parts on this side different parts on this side and then um they can take this out and like chew on that we got this for scarlet because she was really chewing her um hands so we thought this would be a good alternative to chewing her hands because they can put their hand in there and then like so they're trying to chew their hands so they're going ah, 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 like that so yeah she really liked that but Eva's not really been one for any kind of chewing on toys or anything like that. We also have a Sophie. I'll put everything in the description bar so you'll be able to see. Nobody wants to see your biscuits in your mouth. You know what the Sophies are? They're a toy and there's a squeaky toy, but this one is like a teething. It has like a ring and then a Sophie on the top. Um, again, Scarlett really liked it, but it is somewhere, but I can't find it. So I'm going to try and get that out for for Eva. Then another one, what she's eating are biscuits. Now I did find these other biscuits and they're called, I think they're called Bickies. And again, I'll put a link down below um, that we just popped to Sainsbury's so I could only um, find these ones, but she loves these ones. These are just the Heinz um, biscotti biscuits. But yeah, they kind of just suck on them. And I suppose with the sucking, it's nice on her gums but the Bicky biscuits are actually for um teething and they're really good she seems to really like them and they actually take longer for them to eat than these ones because she kind of gets through to these ones quite quickly whereas the other ones i think they're just that little bit harder then like going on food anything cold really anything cold is good um cucumber sticks melon sticks um anything that you, that you can just put in the freezer or the fridge um, if you get banana, put banana in the fridge or in the freezer, cut it into like nice um, holdable chunks, like holdable strips, put that in the freezer and that's nice for them to um, eat. Also ice cream, so you can either buy some actual yoghurt um, ice lollies for little ones, and um, we get ours from Waitrose, again I'll put a link, but you, but you can make your own, I've made my own a couple of times, um, just get some fruit and some yogurt like natural yogurt blend it up and put it in some ice lolly uh, molds ice lolly molds and also um we use nurofen this is the children's nurofen um in a um i think it's like strawberry flavor and it just like plain i just picked this up from this is on offer in aldi so i just picked that up you tend to use norofen at night time and then cowhole um, in the day. So I feel like norofen's a little bit stronger so it kind of like makes her sleep a bit better in the night time. My last kind of essential or like must have is not for a baby, it is for you. So with a teething baby, it can be very draining and very tiresome. They're up all night and then in the day, they're whining, they're crying, and they just don't know what they want. Like, they want to be held and they want to be put down. Like, they don't want to eat. And 
yeah they it's it's very tiring on you so if you've got a good support network around you like husband partner mom friends sometimes you just need a little bit of a time out kind of get away from <laughs> yeah you seem happy now from that constant neediness i suppose <laughs> it's just get some time even if it's like 20 minutes just to kind of have a bit of a breather because it can be really tiring if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and also you will get a notification of all uh, my videos if you i think if you click the little bell um it's completely free to subscribe you don't it's you don't have to do anything apart from just subscribe on the button and then that's it you just kind of like let it go and let and wait for my um uploads uh, yeah give me a thumbs up and I hope your baby gets over this teething stage. Obviously, it is, there are any stages and they do get over it, but it just feels like it's never going to end. It's so sad for them, isn't it? And they don't really know what's going on and it must be so painful. You know what it's like yourself when you've got te like toothache and then they've got like three or four or two or what, even one, you know, coming through. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Can say bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye.